I think what I'm looking forward to most is just um, one last year playing with my teammates. Um, these girls have come, become like one of the most closest friends I've had uh, throughout these four years and so just playing with them one last year, it's sad but also bittersweet and I'm excited about what we're going to be able to do as a team this year and what we're going to do with the season. Obviously our ultimate goal is to be SAA uh, champions. Um, we were regular champions um, my sophomore year and so I'm ready to get another ring. Um, and so really this year um, we've really seen some growth. Um, we're a very young team and we have a lot of depth and so I think that's what ultimately is going to get us through to the end um, with the depth that we do have. And we have a lot of younger girls who are learning every single day, getting better. Um, so I think it's going to be a really great season. Um, so throughout my four years, something that I'm kind of well known for is just my positivity, my enthusiasm. Um, and so kind of being that positive voice for the team is something that's really special and um, really important um, so that I can kind of lead the team with a positive voice and just kind of make sure and motivate that everyone is working hard, encouraging them to do their best so that we can come out with some wins. I would say just like I said, like our energy. Um, from the bat, we came out really strong, and I think that we just want to keep that going. Um, also, just everyone's been working hard in practice. I mean, our practice have been going really well. Um, everyone's loud, everyone's cheering, um, and really we just push each other, and that's kind of what motivates us to succeed and to perform every day. Um, well, being a shooting guard, I would love to increase my shooting percentage. That would be amazing. Um, but really, just I would tell myself every day to just work hard. Go out there, do your best the minutes that you're on the floor. Um, just go out there and perform and do your best. My name's Justin LeBlanc. Um, going on my seventh season here as the head women's basketball coach. Um, I'm a Millsaps alum. Graduated all the way back in 2006 after four years of playing on the men's team. And lucky enough to get in the coaching right after that and coach four years on the, on the men's team. Um, left for a few years, got over on the women's side, and uh, was lucky enough to come back to Millsaps all the way back in 2016, so enjoying it so far. Coaching philosophy, you have your, your standards and your expectations when you start with every year. Now your basketball stuff changes by a lot of personnel stuff, and it can change game to game, year to year. Um, you know, I think we do a good job of that over here um, as far as, hey, this is who we have and this is what we're going to do. but. If, if people know, know me and, and, and watch our program, they know that a big thing for us is defense. Um, we've been one of the better defensive teams in the conference in my, my time here, and, and we pride ourselves on getting stops and what we're going to do when we play a weird zone defense, and um, the girls buy into it, and um, it's been really good to us. And if, if I had to say, hey, what's one thing you can pick out on my basketball philosophy is come watch us play some defense, and, and you'll enjoy it. I mean, I think every team has their own personality. Um, you know, we compare teams in previous years, hey, this team did this, but every, every year is a new year. There's different leadership roles and, um, you know, we graduate people and then there's basketball roles as well. You go from being maybe a role player to now, hey, the ball's in your hands, two minutes in, left in the game and we're down two. And you don't get to simulate that pressure until it's your time. Um, so it's hard to go and, and, and compare, you know, from a basketball standpoint because each team has its own personality. But it's, it's good for us because we've have, we have four seniors this year that have been through the fire and some juniors that were here when we won our last championship in, in the COVID season. So, but now it's their time to be at the top, to be the top of the list and, and, and to know that, hey, when things are stressful out there on the court, these underclassmen are looking to you and know how to handle that pressure and be leaders out there. Uh, we have a lot of them. Like I said, it starts with our seniors. Um, whether they show up on the stat sheet or not, it's always who it's going to start with. Um, obviously, we have a couple new players this year and, and a sophomore, Haley Franklin, that's that's been scoring a little bit for us early on right now. Um, we have some uh, other sophomores that got to play a lot of minutes as freshmen last year with some injuries and everything going on. Whitney Novak, Emily Adams, to name a couple. Um, Helena Rose back her junior year has been, been a starter for us since she got here as a freshman that's doing really well. And obviously we had some freshmen that are starting, you know, Elise Warren has played some big minutes over the last, this past weekend and expecting some big things from her going forward this season. You know, obviously if you, everybody, we want to win a conference championship, right? The goal is to win a regular season conference championship and host it. Um, 
my goal as a coach, hey, I just want to get better each day. You know, so if, if we're going to come into practice and as you know, as an athlete, you're not going to feel your best every day and everybody's got coming up on finals right now. And it's like, hey, how are we going to win today? How are we going to win anyway today? And as long as we're playing our best basketball in January and February, that's all I can ask for. And then the wins and losses usually take care of themselves. Yeah, you know, if you ask the, the players, one of the things that I, I talk about the most, we have two kind of sayings. One of them, the first one is win anyway. So when you break it down, it's, hey, it's not win at all costs, it's win despite all these other things going on. And we talk about that in life as well. Like, hey, you have a, a test going on, you don't really feel well, you need to pass the test anyway. Hey, we're on the road, we might not get in the calls we want, we might have a player that has the flu, you know, hey, we gotta win the game anyway. So we talk about that's a big thing for us. And then the girls have their thing where they say win as one. We break the huddle win as one all the time. Because in basketball, it's, not, it's never about one person. It's always about the program. Nobody's about the program. And, you know, we have different leading scorers each game and all that stuff. It's always about winning as one. It's not your shot. It's our shot. So we talk a lot about those things. And those, those things I think that we, we, we buy into and those are the things that are the backbone of our program.